And now, your first alert five weather. It's a relatively nice evening for us by January standards here in Southern Colorado, taking a look at all of our sky cams in the area, mainly cloudy skies for us. But today was certainly a much more mild day for us than the last several have been. It's still a fairly mild evening for us right now. 46 degrees. Taking a look here downtown in the Springs feels like 42. But again, we have those mainly cloudy skies in place. Now taking a look at our highs for the day, we hit 56 today officially at the airport. Normal high this time of the year would be 45 degrees in Pueblo. High today was 48. Our average high was 49. So that lower elevation kept you a little bit cooler than we were here in the Springs, but nonetheless a much more pleasant day than it's been the last several. I'm sure you would agree. Now as we take a look at our setup tomorrow, our upper level storm track is to our south. So even though we've seen these mainly cloudy skies, most of the moisture associated with this system and several more that we're going to be tracking this week is going to stay pretty far to the south of the state. And you can see that here on radar right now. We've got the cloud cover here in Colorado, but these greens and yellows and the pinks, the rain mix and snow you see on on your screen here. That's several hundred miles to our south. A few light snow showers for us right now in the western slope and our central mountains, as you can see here, but not too much going on east of the continental divide. And that's really going to stay the pattern for us, at least for the first half of our week. However, we are going to bring in a bit more moisture tomorrow, which could give us a few mountain showers, particularly in Woodland Park. So let's take a look here at Futurecast. The rest of your evening, we're going to actually clear out our skies a little bit because we're going to bring some of that moisture that we've had today further to the east. So you're going to wake up to tomorrow morning for your morning commute with partly cloudy skies, a bit more cloud cover in our southern tier, but overall none of us will be seeing any rain or snow. As we head through the day, cloud cover is going to increase again with our southerly flow in place, while a bit of upslope flow, kind of a blend of wind directions tomorrow for us. And so by the evening commute, we will see a couple of light to moderate rain showers along the I-25 corridor. They're going to be very low impact, but nonetheless, you might want to throw the umbrella in your car tomorrow morning if you're going to be commuting between 4 and 7 p.m. just in case you know what Murphy's Law is. By the end of the evening, we'll be bringing those showers out of here. Few clouds remaining for us, but overall no rain or snow expected by the end of the night. Current temperatures outside for you right now in the mid 40s along the front range quarter, lower 40s to upper 30s in our lower terrain along the eastern plains. And then we're at 37 in Woodland Park, 45 for you right now in Canyon City. Now as we go hour by hour through the rest of the evening, because of those partly cloudy skies, we're going to cool down pretty quickly tonight. So upper 20s for us in the springs early tomorrow morning and lower to mid 20s for us in Pueblo by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Overall lows will be in the mid 20s across the Front Range Corridor, lower 20s to teens along the Eastern Plains. Highs tomorrow a few degrees cooler by about 5 to 7 degrees, upper 40s to lower 50s for you. Now, as we look towards the end of the week, here's our storm tracks. So you can see all of these storms orbiting to our south. Wednesday, this storm might get close enough to bring us a few mountain snow showers, maybe even a sprinkle in our southern tier, so stay tuned for future updates on that. But our pattern really changes on Friday. Our jet stream moves further to the north. That allows this this system to get a little bit closer to the state, giving more of us snow showers. And so you'll see that here on our super seven day forecast. A little bit cooler tomorrow, but still not bad for this time of the year. Mid 40s for us with a mix of sun and clouds. By the end of the week, we bring in that next system. Right now it stays too far to the south to give us major impacts, but enough to give us some snow showers. So a one out of five storm impact for you. Then as we head into the weekend, partly cloudy skies, seasonable temperatures. Right now, probabilities for snow increase in the evening based on the current data. As you know, that will change as we head through the week. So make sure to stay tuned to future forecast updates there in Pueblo. You'll be in the low 50s through Wednesday. Certainly quite nice this time of the year. Get outside and take a walk if you can. Towards the end of the week, we'll bring in that next system 45 on Friday with that snow shower chance. You may see a bit of rain there mix in at the very beginning of that storm. Canyon City, you'll be in the low 50s as well till Wednesday, dropping to the mid 40s. Bit of a cool down as that next system comes in on Friday with our lows back in the 20s by Friday night before a very nice weekend Sunday 54 and sunny. Woodland Park, you will see some snow showers on Monday as you just saw with that energy. Other than that, very similar. Lower 40s for you Tuesday through Thursday. And then we bring in that next system on Friday.